All right, good morning, everybody. I'm sitting on here outside of what we call the Heave, AKA HEB um, here in Waco. I am going to do my funnel resupplies for my drop boxes. Um, in the cities that aren't gonna have a good resupply, I'm gonna have my mom send me some food and different resupplies so that way I have um, things, food that I know I'll want to eat um, in those locations. Sorry, it looks like I just got out of bed this morning because that's basically what happened. Woke up, called the vet first thing this morning for my dog. They said, can you bring her now? So I just threw on some clothes, headed into town because I noticed yesterday on our drive back from St. Louis to Waco that she had um, blood in her urine. So I need to get that taken care of. I wanna make sure if she has a UTI, we get some antibiotics going for her so um, I can get her healthy-ish. She's old, she's always got health issues, but try to get her to a better state before I leave her in a week, um, which I may or may not film that goodbye because it's gonna be a very emotional um, goodbye for me because my dog Brownie is my little best friend. She's been there through my side. Um, and with me, she travels all over the US with me to different contracts. So it's gonna be hard um, saying goodbye to her, but I will try to film when I'm in the store. Uh, Waco's gotten crazy busy. We're blowing up around here. Chip and Joanna have definitely made this area a little bit more popular. So it might be a little crowded in there um, and I don't wanna really put other people on video. So I will maybe take y'all along for the ride if I can. If not, I will show y'all what I got um, when I start filling up my resupply boxes later. All right, so bye. Before I go into H-E-B, I am going to enjoy my breakfast taco from Jalisco's. It is hands down my favorite place to get breakfast tacos from. And I haven't even unpacked my car from getting back. We got back late last night, about eight o'clock. It was an 11 hour drive. So all my stuff's still in my car. Um, but I didn't have time this morning because I just kind of had to jump in the car and get brought into the vet because I needed her to be there as soon as possible. So it's hard when you're looking for things, you know, trying to find protein in it. I'm also looking at how much it weighs, how many calories are gonna be per gram. So this one's gonna be 280 for a serving, which is 60 grams, and I'm gonna get 11 um, grams of protein. I like this one, I've tried it before. Um, my favorite is this. Um, however, for 30 grams, even if I double that up, that'd be 60 grams, that'd be 300 calories, but I'll only get eight grams of protein. I'll be adding Fritos to my resupply because Jay wanders out, just made me realize they only have corn, corn oil, salt. So not a lot of extra junk in there. All right, $135 later and two new subscribers, I think. We are done with our resupply. So HEB didn't have everything that I needed. This is our closest thing that we have to a Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. They have a good section of really um, kind of nicer foods, healthier options. So I'm gonna try to grab the last few things I need from our resupply boxes in here. Do we think it's gonna be good? What do we think? Should we gamble on it? grams of protein, 120 calories, weighs 27 grams. Another thing I didn't mention is um, you have to pay attention to the expiration dates. Um, oh, I at the other store had to put some stuff back because it was going to expire like in May of this year and that would do me no good for my resupply it's on the end of my trail. Like I did the one video on Instagram, now I will take this food and basically break it down into a day. I originally was going to start with four days of food, but I realized I really don't need that. So this is one of the ones I made the other day. And so this is 2,370 calories. Um, 
everything here except for the tortillas and so it just breaks down snacks lunch breakfast um, dinner um, and that's kind of what I would be eating in a day though those calories might be closer to 3,000 maybe 4,000 when I get when I start getting further and further down the trail as my metabolism kicks in so I'm putting together um, basically seasoning and condiment packages. So I have serendipity sauce. It's from a local um, chicken place here, Bush's Chicken. And just as a good flavor, um, so I can add that to spice up the mills. So I'll add some of those to the package. And then I have ranch that will go on my tortillas with my buffalo chicken. Some salt and pepper packages. And then I order pre-ordered some extra virgin olive oil packages. So I can just add those to my dinners sometimes to add extra calories and fat. Okay, I pretty much have them all boxed up. I need a little bit more food for one box. Um, but other than that, they are good to go. This would be my last one for Monson, Maine, which will be right before the 100 mile wilderness. So it's kind of got a little bit more stuff in it. Um, they do a food drop. We At some of the hostels, you can get a food drop in the middle of the 100 mile wilderness. And so I'm just gonna send quite a few, quite a bit of stuff there so I have it. Um, you're probably wondering, well, what if you get off trail and you don't make it to Katata and what do you do with all this food? Well, the great thing is all this food has pretty far out ex expiration dates, so I could use it in the future. I do a lot of hiking anyways, um, or I can even donate stuff to a food pantry. All that's left is I will need to address these to whatever town I'm going to, hostel, or wherever I'm going to do my mail pickup. Um, the Trek has a great blog that has instructions on how to do that, as well in the AWOL um, guide that I'm taking. It tells you how to do that as well. I'll put pictures from the trek on my on on the screen so that way you can see how you would address a package to the post office or if you're going to do it to a hostel um, I talked to the post office today and they will hold packages for 30 days and then last I am going to put this painters tape around the outside of these boxes there's a lot of people that will be sending packages to the same location so it just helps the people in the post office recognize your package quicker so you're not waiting forever for them to find your name on your package on a box that looks similar to everybody else's. I can tell them hey it's got the green painters tape around it um, and that will help them locate it a lot quicker. All right guys that is pretty much everything you do for a resupply box and then you have whoever a family your family your friends um give them instructions, let them know what to do. In my case, it's going to be my mom. She's going to be sending me my resupply boxes. I will be sending her stuff back. She'll send me back supplies when I need them. I have some extra shoes because they are on sale at REI because um, they were coming out with the new Lone Star Peaks. So I will have an extra pair that I will be having her send me probably at the 500 mile mark somewhere in Virginia um, before I hit Pennsylvania. I definitely want some good shoes, um, even though the probably going to get tore up going through Pennsylvania. I hope this helps anybody that's thinking about going on trail or for those that are just curious on how I'm sending myself some food and what you do, this is how you do it. All right, thanks guys.